This is music, and this is my contribution to the 2022 cassette tag. A couple of weeks ago, uh, Low Noise Jason Skills um, started a uh, cassette tape themed tag. Um, Low Noise Jason Skills is a really cool YouTube channel um, dedicated to physical music media. He talks about cassette tapes and vinyls, and he does uh, really cool DJ sets as well, kind of like as live streams. So certainly check out his channel, it's awesome. Now, uh, he initiated a, a tag um, in which uh, he wants us to show some uh, cassettes. And uh, I've recently, uh, I guess my love for cassette tapes has recently been rekindled. It was the um, major physical music medium for me when I was a kid. That and, and some vinyls, but cassettes were just more accessible to me. So I, I did collect uh, cassette tapes back then and I started collecting them again so to me uh, the, the I guess the way I collect uh, cassette tapes now is I buy stuff that's really obscure to me for some reason I like buying that on cassette tape uh, and um, I don't know why but that's just the way it's developed anyways he has 12 questions for us and a bonus question so the first uh, question is, or a task or whatever is, show the most recent tape you got, show a punk tape, that's the next one, then show a metal tape, show a hip hop tape or some other genre, because you know, not everybody collects hip hop music, show a tape by a local band, show a tape by yourself, you know, with your music or your, your band, whatever, <clears throat> show a reissue tape, show a blank tape or a mixtape, Show a tape that you bought at a show or some kind of related t type of event. Uh, and then where do you normally buy tapes? And then show a sealed uh, tape. Show uh, or, um, and that's now question 13. Uh, what album or artist or band or whatever would you like to buy a tape of next? And then the bonus uh, task is uh, show a tape box set or double cassette tape or something like that. So, sounds like fun. I've rekindled my love for cassette tape, so I certainly want to sort of contribute to this. So let's get started. I'm going to show for them, the, for most questions, I'm actually going to show two tapes. Um, and there, there's some questions that I just can't answer because I don't have what he wants us to show there. Um, but let's see. So, uh, a new tape. Um, Tension Decay is one of many, because I just picked up a crazy batch of cassette tapes. But uh, I just grabbed two of them, and this was one of them. Uh, Tension uh, Decay by Tension, traditional heavy metal, which is uh, always good, I think. Uh, Schizophrenia Voices, just the other tape from the same batch I picked up. Um, and they're both from Dying Victims Productions. They do a really good job at making their tapes look nice as well, which I appreciate. So that was just two random uh, tapes from the most recent batch of, of uh, tapes I picked up. Then show a punk tape. Um, there's this one here, Overhaul, Rock and Roll Fuel. And as far as I remember, it's a Malaysian band. And their music is more like punk metal i would say it has punk elements it has metal elements as well it's kind of like in the the sort of of um shall we say motorhead worship meets discharge worship meets just worship of heavy metal so it's, it's kind of like a mix of punk and metal um overcharge speed sick now this is all out uh deep beat punk and i think as far as i remember they're an Italian band. Really good stuff. They're both good um, releases. So that's two punk tapes. A metal tape. Well, there's a metal tape here. 
oops, here, there is a metal hard rock tape here, but that would be kind of cheating. So, and I guess kind of a metal tape here too, but that would be cheating. So I picked two other tapes. Uh, Bang to rights by heavy sentence. Now this may, and I, I fell into that trap actually. It looks a lot like like it's punk or something, but it's actually uh, traditional heavy metal, like like um, in the spirit of new wave of British heavy metal. Very very good stuff. Um, and frenetics fear. That's thrash metal, female fronted thrash metal. Also great stuff. And here, the next one is where I have to cop out uh, a hip-hop tape. I don't have a hip-hop tape. I actually, I don't hate hip-hop. To be honest, I don't really like contemporary hip-hop and rap music. Uh, I kind of lost interest in hip-hop around the mid-90s. So I, I really like sort of like 80s rap, like Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. I like um, Public Enemy. Um, like early 90s, late 80s rap, De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest, uh, NWA, things like that. Um, I don't have a hip hop tape, but uh, Jason Skills gave us the option of showing some other genres. So I've gone with classical music. Uh, this one here, um, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Krieg der Sterne. Uh, galactic music so this has this is from 1978 and it still plays and it sounds very good um so it has some songs from the first star wars movie uh the main title imperial attack uh, princess leia's theme ben's death and tie fighter attack and uh, land of the sand people on side a and then on side b you got some um some uh, songs from uh, 2001 so you got the theme also sprach zarathustra or something like that um i do speak german actually i'm just i don't use it very often and, and i'm not great at it and then you have mercury you have venus you have mars the return home galactic visions so a really really cool um item i think especially if you like uh, soundtracks uh, and the classical scores. Um, this is the London Philharmonic Orchestra uh, performing these songs. And uh, we picked this one up in a, um, uh, what's it called, an antiquarian store. So, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really happy to have this one. It was actually my significant other who picked it up. So um, she is great. So that was um, a non-hip-hop tape, uh, a tape by a local band. So local band, I guess that's kind of relative. Um, I think in a country like Denmark, which is very small, I guess it just means like a, a band from somewhere in, in Denmark, but it could also be from the city I live in, from, I don't know, my neighborhood or whatever. Uh, I went with a band from the city I live in, Copenhagen uh steel inferno and the earth stood still uh speed metal with a healthy dose of traditional metal and thrash metal uh female fronted although i think they replaced their singer with a dude now but this is female fronted really really good stuff um i really like this one i have uh, another release by them on vinyl but of course this is cassette uh tag so there you go uh, and the earth stood still steel inferno and then i also thought but you know i live in copenhagen i did not grow up in copenhagen i grew up in a city called Odense, uh, and that's where hans christian anderson was born and he, he moved out as soon as he could uh, but i grew up in Odense, so i i went with an old tape by a local band from Owens Cor Courage, God's Creation, an old demo tape, traditional heavy metal hard rock. Um, I think this is probably not something you come across very often. So a local band from back in the day in Owens. So there you go. Um, a tape by me or my own music or band. Now I actually 
back in the day in the 90s i was in you know a bunch of bands throughout the 90s and we did lots of tapes um i was even in a hip-hop band uh but i don't know we did make some tapes i don't know where they are we did lots of demo tapes i sadly don't have any of them but i did find this one um in a place i didn't expect to find it i actually forgot it existed uh this is a tape that we recorded uh with the i took music as an elective uh, in, in the danish version of high school and our teacher was really cool so so uh, she booked uh studio time and you know what we had to do as our task in that course part of it was we had to record the entire class uh, a song in that studio so uh, we did a cover version of um, Come Together by the Beatles, and that's on here. That's pretty, pretty unexpected, but kind of cool, but also maybe a bit cringe now. But still, when I listened to it, I thought that was actually kind of cool. It was a bit of, I remember it was a kind of a stressful experience recording this because uh, another band I was in, which was a uh, an alternative rock band, uh called crypto um we were booked uh on the same day to play a gig uh, in the afternoon so uh i had to go to the studio and record some guitar bits here then uh race across town perform at the gig then rush back to the studio and record some more guitar parts so um it's, and I had forgotten about that stressful experience too, but this tape made me think of it. So some good stuff and some bad stuff came out of this, but that's the best I can do with a tape with my own music on it. Um, okay, show a reissue tape. I think this qualifies as a reissue tape. Devil Seed, um, self-titled. This um, was originally released... I don't remember the year, but originally it was released on CDR. And then a label picked them up and released it on a couple of years later, maybe just one year later, on um, cassette. Really good stuff. Uh, traditional, old school, doom metal, female fronted. Actually very good. Um, so Devil Seed. Okay. Uh, a blank tape or a mixtape. Cop out. I don't have a blank tape. I don't have a mixed tape here. I actually found some old mixed tapes that um, um, somebody else made for me back in the 90s. Uh, back in the 90s, uh, we were like a bunch of, of uh, teenagers. Uh, and we knew uh, a guy in his 30s who was a metalhead. And of course, a guy in, the 30, in his 30s, he had disposable income. So he could buy CDs and records. Uh, and he was more than happy to make mixtapes for us because uh, he wanted us to get more into metal. So I actually did find at my parents' place some of the mixtapes he made, but I didn't bring them with me, sadly. Um, so I can't show a mixtape. I can't show blank tape either because I haven't bought any. And I, I don't think... I might change my mind on that, but I don't think I'm going to sort of start making my own mixtapes. Uh, although it was very fun back in the day, so who knows? So that's a cop out. Uh, <clears throat> so my most valuable tape or valuable tapes, according to Discogs, the uh, most valuable tape I have is this one here: No Remorse, Wake Up or Die, Swedish kind of crossover thrash um, from the nineties, and and. I don't really have any super valuable tapes. Um, the sort of the the max price that this one sold for, according to Discogs, was like twenty five euros or something. So that's really not a whole lot. Um, but that is the most valuable tape I have in terms of monetary value in my collection. In terms of I don't know personal value and appreciation. I don't know. I th I like all my tapes. So. Um, but money-wise, this one. And it's not even that uh, valuable. Um, so there you go. Uh, a tape I bought at a show or an event. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty pretty sure, but I'm not 100% certain that I bought this one, uh, Trend, 
at a show at some point back in the 90s in Odense uh, because it's a demo tape it's a local band from Odense and uh, we did buy they did kind of like when they did uh, gigs back then they would have a table and they would sell demo tapes um, both the artists that would play there and also other artists that didn't play there because it was kind of like a close-knit community so i'm pretty sure i picked this one up at one of those events i'm also pretty sure i did the same thing with this one actually just at a, probably another event so there you go okay um where do i usually buy tapes <clears throat> online bandcamp record store at a show back in the day way back in the day late 80s early 90s i bought them at record stores then later on in the 90s i bought like this i bought them at shows because i got into you know collecting demo tapes sadly this and this one here and two other tapes that i don't have here that are kind of like the only survivors of my demo tape collection so so that's what i did back then now i buy them uh, mainly <clears throat> online um and that's basically because I got back into collecting tapes while the COVID uh, was raging and it's still raging. So mainly, you know, I did, I haven't done a lot of going out into the wild and, and the shops in the wild that I've gone to don't have that many cassette tapes. And typically the tapes they have don't really appeal to, to me. So uh, I buy them online from, uh, from, uh, I try to buy them online from sort of like local record stores still in Denmark. So I, I bought a, a ton of tapes from Mephisto, which is a great local record store here in Copenhagen. Uh, and I also like to buy them online from the uh, labels and artists. So although I haven't done it yet, at some point I am probably going to buy some uh, tapes on Bandcamp. Um, and um, I... I bought a ton of tapes recently from Dying Victims Productions because they do a great job uh, with their cassette tapes. Um, I've also ordered a bunch of tapes. They haven't arrived yet, but I've ordered a bunch of tapes from Diabolic Might uh, Productions, another sort of underground label. So that's going to be interesting. So yeah, I buy them mainly online from record stores online or directly from the labels or artists online. Um, when the COVID thing hopefully turns to an endemic rather than a pandemic, I am going to start picking up um, cassette tapes out there in the wild as well. Um, and um, it shows, I don't know, let's see, maybe. Uh, but that was where do I normally buy my cassette tapes. Uh, show a sealed copy of a tape. Yeah, I can show you this one. Beast Maker. Um, Eye of the Storm, it's, you know, as you can see, it's still shrink wrapped. It's a nice yellow tape. Um, this will not remain sealed because I'm going to open this very soon and listen to it. But right now it's sealed. And this could also be, because uh, was, this was part of the, uh, the uh, batch of tapes I just uh, bought the other day from Dying Victims Productions, although this is from a different label. So this could also be uh, a new tape because it is, but I will break the seal and listen to this tape many times. Uh, okay. So what album or artist or band would I like to buy a tape of next? Um, now, so I normally buy tapes uh, that are totally obscure to me. So I technically, I don't really know if you know what I mean. However, I actually would like to pick up some uh, tapes by Public Enemy, uh, some old tapes, um, OG tapes, uh, and I actually have one on order, so I look forward to receiving that. So I would, I would like to get some, some of that old uh, school hip hop I talked about that I actually like. It'd be really cool to have that on tape, and that's simply just because it feels right to me to play 80s and early 90s uh, hip hop and rap on a tape deck, probably because when I was a kid, we would do that with boom boxes. Um, so that's probably why. So uh, yeah, 
so there are kind of like two answers some old uh, hip hop public enemy um that's the one answer and some more stuff that's completely obscure to me that doesn't mean that it's objectively obscure music right it's just stuff that's obscure to me um the bonus question uh show a tape box set or double cassette tape yeah i'd be happy to do that i have this double cassette um tape by uh zandril like traditional metal meets speed metal uh this is like a compilation of some old demos the vision of rotting a darkness uh the demos 1983 to 1988 um and it has these two really nice looking tapes in it so uh, so that was uh, the bonus question so so this video ended up being a bit longer than i anticipated but hey we love cassette tapes so uh i don't have a problem talking about cassette tapes for 21 minutes i don't know if you have a problem watching some weird dude talk about cassette tapes for 21 minutes that's a different story but yeah that was my contribution to uh jason low noise jason skills um cassette tech 2022 again check out his channel he does some really awesome uh live streamed dj sets i i watch i haven't watched all of them but you know when i have a chance i tune in and watch him and really good stuff he plays punk techno metal all sorts of great stuff so check out his channel thanks for watching